the bigger batteries, it's a little slower, but... Dan! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give up for RC Dummy. So this is a Razer E100 scooter. Now look at look at how fast this kid's going. But there's a, there's a problem with this picture. He's not actually going that fast, and I have an issue with that. So we want to turn this tiny scooter into the most dangerous machine of mayhem possible. And how are we going to do that? With these lithium iron headway cells. Now these bad boys can output 200 amps of constant current, which is way more than our 60 amp drive controller can even handle, but the motor won't be pulling that much, so, so it's okay. Unfortunately, when I put these together, that kind of looks like a bunch of sticks of dynamite, but I mean, they're red cylindrical tubes. There was, there was no real way to get around that, but they, they work, so, you know, wh whatever. I decided to make two six cell batteries because into my charger, I can only balance charge six cell batteries, but into the actual scooter, I have another series connector, so it is 12S going into the scooter, which is about 40-ish volts when they all the cells settle down. So now that's basically all the components of the of the scooter taken care of. So I just kind of slapped everything together very loosely, not even all the bolts on, nowhere to put the batteries really, and I went out with Jack to do a first official test run, not, not whatever this was in my room. He got them dogs out. Oh my god, it works! What the hell? It go oh, going. Oh, there's a speed bump. <laughs> hit it, hit it, hit it. Dude, there's so many rocks right now. Oh, oh. No. Then we're just we're still working out the kinks in the in the design. <laughs> maybe maybe we need to secure this. Oh, I just shocked myself. Uh, maybe we need maybe, <laughs> the open terminal. Oh my god, no. I just oh. I'm waiting for it to like catch up. Oh, oh, it's just not like slowing down. And, and and then it just walks no, it, itself. It, 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 just... it idles like a car. Jack, <laughs> let's uh, see what you got. <laughs> Don't go near cars. Don't go near cars. It's dangerous. <laughs> it really is. It's really dangerous. Oh, Jack, 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 Jack. That's a little dangerous. You dropped this. Battery? Open terminals. <laughs> <laughs> lick them, lick them, lick them. Uh, so you may have noticed a few issues with this first test. Um, the first most glaring one, we need a new place for the batteries. Having them surrounding your foot loosely, it's a little funny, but you know, them just rolling across the concrete really doesn't sit well in my stomach. And number two, you may have noticed Jack saying, the, the scooter idles like a car. Now, this isn't supposed to be happening, that's an electric motor. But Hall Effect sensors is what I'm using for the, the twist throttle. They do not behave like potentiometers. They can only go between around like 0.4-ish volts to like point or 4.7. It's not a full zero to five range. So then now the drive controller doesn't know what to do with that. So it can only go between like 15 and 85% throttle. And that's not gonna work because you need to be able to stop. And I also wanna use the full power of the motor. So how do we fix that? And the answer is, I have no clue. I brought up this problem to, to somebody at school to help me, and they helped me design a whole circuit that I don't remember what it looks like, or what's, I know there's an op amp and, and some sort of transistor. Uh, I don't know what we did. We, we gave it more of a, a voltage range. I don't know, it works now. That's all that really matters. So I, I vaguely fixed these two problems and I took it uh, to my local church to uh, test it out a bit more. <laughs> why? Why do you have your foot back there, or like right next to your foot? If it looks funny. <laughs> Wait, can I ride it? Can I ride it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I used to scooter back in the day. Why did you stop if you... 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> it has like electronic braking. I don't know how to turn that off. went to pitch black on the camera. Faster! <laughs> Bro, you're gonna hurt yourself. So the scooter smells like it's melting now. I don't know why. I think it's the drive controller. Um, I'm gonna fix that later. Do you mind? <laughs> okay. You good, Hudson? You good? Yeah. Not happy. It is really slowing down. <laughs> okay, maybe it's electric uh, assisted scooter. Oh my god. The batteries don't like this. It's like it's too heavy, I guess, with these batteries because it's like significantly lighter with the other ones. One, one lap. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> The, the controller, I was looking at it, like, I was smelling it. Everything kind of looks fine. Nothing in there looks burnt. And then I got to the motor. Um, for those of you who don't know, those those aren't supposed to be black. Those are supposed to be copper. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that this is what burnt up. There's also melted plastic in there. Um, it's almost like a tiny 24-volt, 100-watt motor is not supposed to carry an 180-pound man. So, we're gonna need a bigger motor, but, uh, either way, that was, that was pretty fun. As you can see, this scooter still needs a lot of improvement to be going dangerously fast. It is kind of cool that it was even able to function at all with that tiny 150-watt motor. But obviously that's not big enough, so what do we need to improve for next time? So first of all, obviously, we need a bigger motor. Second of all, I need to close up those exposed terminals on the batteries, because they're kind of scary. I need to mount the basket better so it's not just held on by zip ties. I also would like the LEDs in the in the board of the scooter to actually work, because this is the E100 Glow, so it has uh, little LEDs around where you stand, which that would, that would be cool. So... All things we need to fix, will I fix them for the next time? I, I, I don't know, I, I didn't do it yet. But uh, stay, subscribe, hit the follow bell button, whatever. I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna go. Subscribe.